Hello YouTube. I was saying slack off this. It looked like crap. I started splitting with it. It just looked nasty. You can see some that's left over. What I'm doing, I'm doing it dry with 220. I like this paper. I'm sure it's 3M. Purple stuff. 220. Yeah, a piece of 400 if I want to really polish it. Uh, we're doing this dry till we get it off. We showed some pictures. And then once we get it all off, what we've been doing is some soapy water. We've been doing the final get the little thing over so I can get my cardboard wet. We've been doing it this way. So we get a nice clean, we wash all that junk off. Get rid of it. This looks nasty. I've also wrapped some electrical tape here. I have scuffed this. I've got into a piece so I got carried away a little too big splitting it. Abusing this poor thing, just smashing it against the concrete block, the piece of wood with this stuck in there, and I scuffed this a little bit. So we're going to protect this for well, as long as we own it. You know, I don't care what it looks like. It's a tool that I work with. But I include some pictures, and we'll try to include a couple there. I'm not going to really video how I sharpen. I'm just going to take the file, put just a little bit of an edge. It's not going to be real sharp because it's just a kindling hatchet. You may slip and when you have a glove on you don't want to come down and miss and have something that sharp hit your glove and cut through it so you don't want it real razor sharp for kindling wood i don't but there you go getting that shellac varnish off i'd say it's shellac more than varnish nasty stuff it just looked nasty i should have had a picture after i was done using it for about an hour it just was all scarred and gross looking the, and I keep my tools oiled so it's not going to rust when I own it. So, thanks for watching. We'll include a few pictures there of it.